uh, you will see uh, various uh, tabs on the left pan like web apps, virtual machines, mobile services, cloud services. Okay, so this is my test lab. So go ahead and click on virtual machines, and here at the bottom you can see uh, new. Click on new, and click on compute. Click on virtual machine. Click on uh, from gallery. You can select the, uh, the existing image, and currently I'm selecting Windows Server 2012 R2 Data Center, and click on next. Now it will ask for the uh, the virtual machine name. So what I'll do is I'll give uh, uh, demo lab username will be my username and password. You have to give. Okay now after that click on next here and the cloud service select any existing uh, cloud uh, service okay and uh, the storage unit select um, you can either use use an automatically generated storage unit or you can use ASR I mean it depends upon your customer uh, just click on next and please select the install VM agent click on so we can see here it shows creating virtual machine okay and click on details yeah it it says setting up virtual machine side demo lab so it will take a couple of minutes so let's wait so it's still uh, yeah Okay, so that's that's the uh, yeah. It's gonna take a, a minute or maybe a couple of minutes to uh, set up the virtual machine. So let's wait. And once it's done, uh, I will show you how to access that virtual machine and uh, and how to go ahead and delete the virtual machine from the Microsoft Azure. So that is the uh, that is the today's tutorial. It says here uh, provisioning. It says uh, status starting now. So provisioning is nothing but it's just uh, trying to uh, allocate the uh, the disk and other resources accordingly, and then it will uh, bring the virtual machine. Okay, so and if you look at the current storage, I have uh, various storages. Okay, and I've used ASR storage demo. If I want to see where my virtual machine is actually getting created, go to that particular storage, click on containers tab, it will show your VSDs, just click on VSDs, it see this is my uh, side demo, so this is where it is creating all my uh, VSDs and everything. Either you can delete the VSDs from here, okay, if you don't want any particular VSDs, you can delete. And you can also delete the virtual machine. It will ask, do you want to delete delete the uh, the disk? You can uh, select yes. So there are two ways of deleting the virtual machine. And currently, I'll go back to the virtual machines here. It's still uh, showing as uh, starting. So just uh, uh, 
taking its own time. So what I'll do is I will show how to delete a virtual machine now. Okay. So I have already a uh, virtual machine which is up and running here. It's a Kishore uh, test lab. Okay. So just now I've created it. The same thing. Okay. So what I can do is. Um, Highlight this and here you can see uh, delete. If I click on delete, delete attached disks, keep the attached disk. So I have two options. If I click on it, delete attached disk, it will uh, also delete the, uh, the VSD files which are related to it. So I click on here, the operation will read the virtual machine, uh, Kishore test lab or issue you want to continue. Okay. If I click on yes, okay. So it says deleting virtual machine. So I'll go back here to the storage and under ASR storage domain container, see uh, under VSDs, see it will delete this particular VSD file, which is over 127 GB along with it should, right? So it, it should be zero now. So this is what it will be doing. Yeah. So one operation is we are performing is creating the virtual machine that is a Sai demo test the Sai demo lab, and the other one we are deleting the virtual machine is deleting the Kishore test lab. See, it says successfully deleted virtual machine Kishore test lab and its attached disks. So it should this file should not be listed here so what i'll do is i'll go back here just to refresh and and again uh, click on vsds so go back here Hi, virtual machines. That bottle of virtual machine is not listed anymore here. Okay. And uh, go back to storage. Container. VHDs. So, uh, what I want to do is. I should want to delete. I'll just try deleting. Yes, delete it, and uh, this one I'm deleting manually. Okay, so it has been deleted now. It's still uh, showing us creating virtual machine. Okay, so I'll go back to the cloud services. Sorry, under the virtual machines, it says demo test VM. Okay. So in order to access this Sai demo lab, what you have to do is you have we have a URL, but you can. So for that you have to go to the uh, the storage containers, VSDs. See here it's showing us the URL. Okay. So select that URL. <clears throat> go back to the here so in order to access that particular virtual machine what you have to do is you have to go to the virtual machines select highlight that virtual machine okay and use the button connect it will download the rtp file okay like this open that rtp file it says connect so use my another account what i have to do is uh, it's nothing but you have to remember your uh, Okay, here. So what you have to do is you have the, you have to remember your DNS, so that will be your uh, domain. I'm not sure what happened.
Oh, where is that? Where is that? Two machines. So this is my domain for the, my username, what I created. And I'm just typing the password. So it will give you a certificate, uh, this thing, click on yes. And uh, it's trying to configure the remote session for that particular uh, server. Say this is how it will uh, create your virtual machine or this is how you'll access the virtual machine under the uh, Azure cloud. It should be uh, able to uh, bring the uh, the desktop screen in, uh, within a minute. So now, uh, just uh, I mean uh, the summary uh, of this video. First, we uh, logged on to the Azure, and then we created a, a test demo lab. We selected the storage. We also uh, uh, provided the, the, the required username and password, okay? And we uh, provisioned it, now it's online, okay? And uh, we also checked the, the containers under particular storage where the VSD files will be stored. And uh, in order to log on, in order to access your virtual machine, you have to use the, uh, the, the DNS uh, forward slash your username. So this is how you'll access, okay? So it says, uh, Currently, I don't want to set up any network. So this is how I uh, will be uh, accessing my virtual machine. And now I will install what application I want and everything on this virtual machine. OK. So this is just a, a test lab. So I'll uh, minimize and go back to the. Uh, so and also we learned how to delete a virtual machine and also how to delete the VSD files from the container. OK. So. In the next lab, I'll be showing how to install the, uh, the actual Azure uh, uh, application on this VM, okay? So guys, uh, thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for more updates. Have a nice day.